Uh, global markets seem to be a bit of consolidation mode uh, amidst uh, current you know, mixed earnings uh, that have come in across the world. Uh, and you know, the recent comments from the Bank of Japan didn't help either. Uh, what's weighing uh, on uh, investors' minds uh, globally in terms of trends? There's three things weighing on people's minds. The first thing is the incoherence and the lack of, uh, of, of credibility in terms of objectives of central banks. The Bank of Japan has lost a lot of credibility in the last couple of months. Uh, the Federal Reserve has done a huge U-turn from December to the end of February and, and is not clear on what its objectives are and the ECB is, is keeps on promising to buy corporate bonds and yet we don't see any, uh, any, any clarity there. The only central bank that has um, a lot of credibility still is the Bank of England. The second thing is the bank earnings. The, the banks have been producing a set of earnings which are pretty troubling and so essentially we're seeing um, falling revenues, falling you know, pre-provisioning operating profit, falling net income. Uh, at a time when we're supposed to be having some sort of recovery here, and so this is uh, alarming. The uh, third thing is uh, the issue of overall liquidity. Um, the liquidity, you know, that we see is uh, generally falling. Uh, banks are not providing liquidity to the markets. Um, the regulatory restrictions on banks are causing them to have to pull back. And so more and more people are being fired, more and more divisions are being shuttered, more and more parts of the bank are being um, either clipped or, or shut down. And so there's less and less activity in the markets. And so all this together is producing a lot of uh, 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 increased risk. Well, how do you see cues from major central banks and talks of Brexit influencing fund flows across developed as well as emerging markets in the coming months? Well, it's interesting because the UK banks, and uh, we just finished an analysis of revenue, uh, reserves, non-performing loans, and pre-provisioning profits. And the one uh, banking system in the world which um, has the steepest fall in revenues are the UK banks. The one system which has some of the highest NPLs, the UK banks. The one system which has some of the lowest reserves for future problems, the UK banks. So if the, uh, if the UK votes to exit uh, from the European Union, I think this is problematic for the UK banks because uh, they're going to have to be, un they're going to have to unglue themselves from a lot of their operations in Europe. And so I, I think it will be a very negative event uh, for, for uh, the UK financial system. Well, yes, indeed. Okay.